sunny New Jersey. Just know that the eyes of America are on you right now. Truly. And what it is that you can do for the red, white, and blue on Wednesday. How you can turn things around. Turn the momentum with Steve's campaign. The rest of the country knows it. The media even knows it. And today it is here where we are in the middle of a fight. It's for the liberty and prosperity that your state's motto screams for. And we're going to talk about what this slim down is really all about. It is about a fundamental transformation of America. It's about breaking your spirit. It is about disempowering the people. And it's about trying to make you feel hopeless and helpless. And heaven forbid they do that when you have a candidate like Steve Monaghan. Oh, a bold, common sense conservative can't win in New Jersey. They're the same ones screaming, I need you to shut up about Obamacare, the train wreck that is Obamacare. Just touch on that. It, you know, at this point, what difference does it make? <laughs> it's the law of the land. Well, I remember, you know, they used to say that about prohibition. <laughs> so we are here today to say, the DC style politicians and their celebrity friends, and we send real, tested, proven, common sense leaders to do the job, and Steve Wanigan is that wise leader. You can send them Steve. Steve won't forget where he came from. He won't forget what it is that he accomplished again by the sweat of his brow, so he will not ever forget what it is that America can accomplish. Born and raised here, starting that small business from nothing and growing it into an American success story. What an example. He serving in office, in public office for all the right reasons. As a small town mayor, well, he cut wasteful spending and he reined in and reduced debt. He cared. He was there. He listened to the people that he worked for. I love reading about him. I love hearing his story. And you know, there's a saying that behind every great man stands an even better woman. Hey, in Steve's case, it's three great women. His strong, smart wife, Lorraine, his three beautiful, his two beautiful, smart daughters. So much a pleasure to get to meet them. Steve is a solid family man. And Lorraine, man, I, I respect her boldness. The Steve that she knows. The Steve, the, the father that has taught his daughters that anything is possible in America despite any odds against you. Right. And now that a man like Steve who honors and encourages strong, independent women just wouldn't fit with a misguided media scripted view of common sense conservatives. Just doesn't fit. Well, this strong family of New Jersey women is all the more reason to ask New Jersey, can the rest of America count on you to send Steve Monaghan to the United States? Yeah. Now is the time that you buckle down. Now is the time that you press in. You have to do the legwork between now and Wednesday. You need to call your friends, Republicans, Democrats, no party at all. Because this isn't about partisanship. It is about we the people and we being heard finally in the United States Senate. We need you to encourage your friends and neighbors after you tell them about Steve and his life story and his record of being an overcomer and a doer, somebody who can accomplish what we'll send him to accomplish. We need them to get out and vote. You need to offer to help get them to the polls if need be. Wednesday is an odd day for a vote. Some people may not realize that there is an election coming up already on Wednesday. The media who would try to talk people into just staying home via their message that it's just a lost cause. Again, that especially in Jersey, you can't have a bold, common sense conservative win, so it's a waste of effort to show up and vote. Well, bull! The media is wrong! by sending Steve to be one of those reinforcements that we need in Washington, D.C.